Hi everybody, this is Robin, your friendly admin. I thought I'd do a video today to show you around Diamonds in the Rough Facebook page and what it has to offer. Over here, under announcements, these are like a series of pinned posts. So if you click on the see all here, you'll see several posts. These are ones that we don't want to have buried. So the top one is, please, please read the rules below and if you have any questions to ask an admin. This is um, a raffle. This is mentioning uh, stitchdiamond.com and, and who supplies us with the canvases in the raffles. So this is a poster challenge picks here. This one is where you would go to submit your picture that you've done for the month of May or June or July and so on. So it's only the completed work of the month that you're currently in. And then so on. So every now and then you're going to want to go here and look. Over here on the left hand side under photos, Facebook captures the photos that are posted to uh, our group. For example, if you click on this one, this is someone's work in progress. This is Haley's. This picture was from Ashley. So you can go through here and take a look of what, what people have done. So then go up to albums here. Click on it. This is a group swap album. This is an April 2018 monthly contest, which we've already done. Uh, best Works album, converting crochet to DP. So here are some uh, photo albums that you can look at. And then over on the left-hand side, under Files, you'll find this. We here at Diamonds in the Rough, we are trying to be as educational as possible uh, for everyone. And so we have some files in here for you to look at at any time you choose to. I have added tutorial videos, which is right here, and it's part one because there's two of them. You click on that, and this is what is a checkerboard method. How to get your drills unstuck shake me method. What to do if, if an area of the canvas is not sticky and so on. So if it's not in there that you're looking for, go to tutorials video part two and see if it's in there. If it's not, you can always make a comment or, or do a private message to Jenny, to me, to Susan, and say, hey, can we have a video about this? And we will be happy to make one for you. So please go ahead and look at the files anytime you feel like it. And you may find what you're looking for in there instead of having to wait for an answer or a bazillion answers from other people. Also, I want to point out all things framing and bordering. This is adding a border to colored page with washi tape. That is something that I found off of YouTube and I added it. Bordering your diamond painting with duct tape, part one and part two. Design your frame. Frame it easy. This is a website that you can order custom framings. And the bottom three are just frames that I found from Walmart that will fit your diamond painting exactly. 60 by 80 would be a 24 by 32. It's going to have just a little bit edge around the corner 
where it doesn't quite meet the end, but these will fit perfectly. Uh, 60 by 60 is a 24 by 24. 60 by 90 is 24 by 36. This painting up, or diamond painting up here, Shiva, that is a 60 by 90. I got it from Walmart. I did not have to put any other kind of bordering around it. So, yes, you can use, go to other websites and do a custom. And that's all well and good if that's what you want to do. But it is rather spendy. The Walmart frames aren't so bad. You can order online, have it shipped to the store, or if they already have it in stock, you can go there and purchase it, or you can order online and then pick it up. All right, so like I said, just look around. Diamonds in the Rough, there is information there for you. If there is anything that is not on our group page please let us know I mean this this group is really here for you and without you Jenny Susan and myself would not be here have a great day